Hey Leo, how's it going? We're here with the Timeless Reading. The first cards that we have out are Two of Cups and King of Pentacles. This looks like a lot of work, duty, life, responsibility type things that I'm seeing here. Starting off with Two of Cups, um, actually two, King of Pentacles can also be somebody in your life that you see as being, um, it can be like a partner, or it can be somebody that you see as being reliable, or it can just like be a staple within your life. Two of Cups, King of Pentacles. What this means is that right now, when it comes to you taking care of things that are important to you, when it comes to you being self-sufficient, when it comes to you honoring your duties and responsibilities, it feels very much like you are doing exactly that. Two of Cups, to me, when I see that, especially next to a card, feels like you being sort of in rhythm with that part of yourself. What this means too is that for some of you, there can be somebody that you're working with that is sort of doing things in a way that really aligns with how you feel like things should be done, like the right way of doing things. So you may not be the only one here having responsibilities and taking care of things. You can have somebody that's there with you that's maybe helping you do something, helping you accomplish something. This can be somebody that you're close with, somebody that you're sort of like collaborating or work, collaborating with or working with. I'm also seeing Four of Swords too. What this means as well is that you can have somebody coming through, like let me take that off of your hands and they can be like helping you out with something and you can be getting a little bit of a break. Or they can just be, um, this would be somebody that you're close with if this happens to be somebody outside of yourself. This would be somebody that you feel like does this from a place of caring. And yeah, they can be somebody that you can really rely on to be there. Having Four of Swords, I feel like this is something that this person shows up and can give you some type of peace of mind. The Emperor feels like you have something big going on, something important going on. And I do feel like there's some sort of making sure that your energy is where it needs to be before... This feels like needing to make sure that you get a good night's sleep before entering into something where you're really going to have to be there 100%. And this thing that you're doing, some of you, you're not alone in doing this. There's somebody there with you. It feels like rather than it just being one King of Pentacles, Two of Cups almost makes it feel like there are two of you. And this can be somebody around you that you're connecting with. Okay. There can be some relationship stress that's happening as well. A lot to do. Okay, Leo. I am seeing Seven of Swords. Having Ten of Wands come out before Seven of Swords feels like it's giving context here. Ten of Wands can be a time where we feel like there's so much on our plate that we can question like if it's even possible to, to do that. It can feel really stressful, it can feel like there's so much to do, so little time, I'm, I'm stressed out, I have all of this stuff going on, my plate is too full. And then having Seven of Swords feels like maybe a way of trying to deal with that, even though if you were to look at this, you can feel like, um, I mean, seeing King of Pentacles above it and having Two of Swords, what this can mean is that this can also be somebody around you too, having it be Two of Cups. 
This can be your energy. This can be somebody close to you. Having King of Pentacles above Seven of Swords can mean that there is a duty, there is a responsibility, there is like an obligation even morally to be showing up and doing things in a certain way. Like, this is my responsibility, I'm supposed to show up here and I'm supposed to be here for this amount of time doing this amount of things and making sure that I complete those things. Seven of Swords can be trying to like get out of that, but doing so in a way that's not upfront. Ten of Wands feels like I'm stressed out. Seven of Swords feels like, so I'm going to try to deal with it in this way. But Seven of Swords is a way that you wouldn't want other people to see what it is that you're doing. Like you wouldn't want this exposed. And it feels like it has to do with um, something that you currently have going on that there can even be like a suspension from this thing. Having Four of Swords, I did not expect the reading to go in this direction. Having Four of Swords and Seven of Pentacles, there can be something that's put on hold, there can be something that's put on freeze, there can be something that is suspended, Leo. There can be something that you're taking a break from. I was here doing this thing, now I'm like not on that case anymore or not on, you know, participating in that thing anymore. I'm taking a break from, yeah, from participating in that or there's been like a pause button that's been pushed. Having two of cups, having, having seven of swords. Two of cups is when you feel like you're at home with yourself, when you feel like there's congruence, when you feel like you are, the way that you're moving through life is like totally aligned. Having two of cups, having seven of swords is, I'm feeling one way and I'm doing something else. I know that this is the right way and I'm doing it a different way than that. What this can mean too with Two of Cups and Seven of Swords is that somebody close to you, there can be something going on with this person close to you. They may not be um, being honest with you, Leo. This is somebody that would be very close to you if this happens to be someone outside of yourself. And what this, what this is about exactly, this can have to do something with finances. This can have to do something with something that someone said that they were going to do and do it in a certain way and that's not what's being done. Because King of Pentacles is a, a position of like high responsibility and having Seven of Swords where King of Pentacles can even be like people relying on the King of Pentacles to show up. You know, King of Pentacles is sort of like, you know, your boss. You expect them to be doing things in, a, in the right way and doing what they're supposed to be doing. You know, doing their job, essentially playing the role that they're, they signed up for. This is my role that I play. Seven of Swords can show that something is happening um, that is not supposed to be happening. Having Ten of Wands before Seven of Swords feels important to me. Why it feels important to me is that I think that this King of Pentacles would be doing things, if they weren't stressed out, they may be doing things in a way that's correct, but because of being stressed out, and some of you, wow, this reading, some of you, it's, let's say that the King of Pentacles is your boss, even though King of Pentacles can be you, King of Pentacles can be your partner. Let's say King of Pentacles is your boss. This can be somebody that's having interpersonal issues with somebody that they're very close with, and because they're stressed out about that, they're not showing up at work doing what they're supposed to be doing, essentially. Another way that this can manifest is that, um, And why it feels important to clarify that Ten of Wands is before Seven of Swords means that this person that is the King of Pentacles, on a, on a normal day when they don't feel totally overwhelmed with things, they may actually do their job properly or like fulfill what they're supposed to fulfill properly, you know, honor their responsibilities properly, efficiently, follow through be reliable, be dependable, be doing good work. Having Ten of Wands come before Seven of Swords feels like 
and I'm not saying this is an excuse, this is more so like, why is this happening? It feels like this is a response to the stress that someone is under. And it can be related to their relationship with you. It can be related to their relationship with someone else that they're close with. Ultimately comes down to their relationship with themselves. And so because of feeling, let's see if we can get further insight. Why is, actually, I, I don't need to. Ten of Wands is linked with the Emperor, which means that somebody can feel like they have an extreme amount of weight, like crushing weight of responsibility on them. And it feels like it can come from all different areas of life. This doesn't feel like it comes from one place. The emperor is like all about your business. The emperor is all about all of the stuff that you have going on with your life right now that's important for you to show up within. And this person feels overwhelmed, like they have too much responsibility, like they can't handle it. Ten of Wands is feeling like I'm at my limit here. And so what that means then is king of pentacles which is like one of the many roles that this person has it feels like they're not showing up and they can be covering that up too because seven of swords can be like a more a more aware i know that i shouldn't be doing this but i'm doing it and i'm justifying it because i feel stressed out and even though they wouldn't want other people seeing that they're doing this it it feels like that's how they're making sense of this like that's how that's being um justified even though it's not justified and i don't think that they they believe that it's justified i think that they just don't know you know like where they are with with their shadow and with themselves i think that they don't know another way to do this or like a better way to do this and then what i'm seeing over here is four of swords and seven of pentacles and that means that there may be like a pause that's put on all of this. Knowing like I'm really, you know, like if you're the king of pentacles and like no judgment, if you are the king of pentacles and you're feeling like I'm way too stressed out right now, I have too much going on, like life is too heavy for me, I'm not doing things that I should be doing, I'm not doing it the right way, I'm doing stuff that I feel like I'm really... Um, I feel like there's a, a word that I'm looking for here. It's basically when someone is like, yeah, I'll go over there and do that thing. And then they're not doing it. And then they may be saying like questioned about it. And they're like, yeah, I did that yesterday. And like, that didn't really happen. It, it's things like that that are going on. And it can be like sneaky behavior. It's just stuff that really takes one backwards, but, and then actually creates more stress. Cause I'm seeing this be a cyclical thing. It's like contained within this little unit. So stress, doing things, feeling like I hope that this solves the problem, but it being like not, not a way, um, it's like not an honest way of doing that. And it's not a, an effective or efficient way of doing that. And then takes one back into now I'm feeling stressed out. And it feels like that keeps going around and around and around. It's like some type of sabotage that's happening and then feeling stressed out about it and then trying to sabotage to like ease the stress and then being stressed out about it and then going around and around and around. And for some of you, this is happening within a relationship. This can be somebody that's like, I, I told you I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And then they're not doing what they said that they were going to do. And it can be like around and around and around that this is happening. Um, and yeah, for some of you, there's something about a relationship that's involved in this where there can be deception, there can be some type of betrayal even that's going on, there can be lies, there can be omissions that are happening, Leo, it feels like it's connected with that. And for some of you, this can be specifically a work situation that's happening. Some of you, you could work with somebody that you are, um, maybe you work with somebody that you also have a personal life with this person. Yeah. So then what I'm seeing in the second half of the reading, we have four of swords and we have seven of pentacles. And this feels like 
there's something that's in the middle of happening. Four of Swords feels like I need to take a big step back, a huge step back. I need to put a big pause on this right now. So it feels like, so this can't continue happening. Because I really feel like if you are the King of Pentacles, whoever is the King of Pentacles, if you are the King of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords, you can feel like you're really lacking here. And you can feel too, like this is a moment where you're checking in and you're like, I am not doing things the way that I should be. I feel like my shadow is really steering the ship here. And in that moment, you can notice that and be like, I really need to take a step back from this. I really need to think about this, like what I'm really doing here and how do I like come back home to myself? Because Seven of Swords is just going to keep one really separated from oneself. I need one more card to finish this part of the reading. But yeah, this, this can even feel like something that's actually really difficult to put on hold. Stressed, dealing with stress in a way that really doesn't align with how one This is not, King of Pentacles is not being observed by another person and there's that other person. Okay, so we have King of Pentacles here not doing what they're supposed to be doing, right? Like doing things in a way where they're like, I shouldn't be doing things like that. I'm not seeing someone around them looking in and judging them. This feels like King of Pentacles looking at what King of Pentacles is doing and saying, I shouldn't be doing things in this way. There's something that doesn't sit well with me about the way that I'm doing things, but this is sort of how my shadow is telling me we should deal with the stress because I'm feeling stressed out. Simultaneously, I am seeing someone feel happy with what they have going on within their life. Simultaneously, one feels very stressed out by the things that they have going on within their lives. And so it feels like both of those things that are happening. And there can be regrets about this, there can be remorse about this. I'm seeing five of cups on the bottom of the deck. This can be somebody that's found themselves in like kind of a bit of a toxic loop here. And they're like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get out of this. That can really be the feeling here. I don't feel like we need to go into what the Seven of Swords is because I feel like King of Pentacles knows what that is. Whatever is being done that one looks at it and they're like, I'm not proud of the way that I'm doing this or I'm not doing this right and I know that. But there can also be a... There can be like some, some deception or for some of you even shame that's surrounding this with the Seven of Swords. So yeah, one feels very stressed out. They also feel like there is a, a role that they're playing. It's like somebody that's supposed to be, you know, preparing for the job and studying their lines and like all of the stuff that is part of them playing this role. And it almost feels like it may be too much for them. If this is you, you may feel like this is too much for me. And I like having this role. I love everything that comes with it and I want to do it. But the thing is that you may feel like it's too much. Let's actually see. Like, is this actually too much or does something need to be managed better? Can we clarify Ten of Wands? I do feel like something is not being handled in a direct way, like it's not actually being addressed because what is clarifying Ten of Wands is Seven of Swords, which is Seven of Swords again, and then we also have, um, 
we also have the hanged man on the bottom of the deck and what this can mean is like there's some neptunian process that's happening here what that can mean is that there can be escapism there can be like not actually taking care of one's responsibilities not prioritizing like can be self-deception can be lying about things you know can be just like not like shirking responsibility can be shirking responsibility in general not taking care of the things that need to be taken care of and then feeling very stressed out but this does feel like a With Neptune, it feels like something hasn't totally been seen, something hasn't totally been realized. And so if this is your energy, you can be in a position where there's stuff that you can be doing that you've convinced yourself like this is the only way to take care of things when that's not actually the case. You just like haven't realized that. And you may not be labeling some things as self-sabotaging yet that actually are. And for some of you too, because of doing this, you can feel actually like you're sabotaging a close relationship that you have as well, or that you're lying to somebody close to you. This feels like one of those moments where your guides are like, let's, let's suspend you for a moment so you can just like think about things and sort of reorient yourself and ask you like what you're doing. Do you feel happy with what you're doing? Do you feel good about it? Because this feels like something that you can potentially be ignoring. You know, Seven of Swords is our shadow doing these things and when we don't want to check it because we don't want to have to change what's going on and have that deeper insight, we can be staying in that in a like delusional state of thinking like actually it can be these illusions that we sort of feed ourselves that the shadow feeds us and then it keeps us in that loop some of you I, I keep hearing stuff about shame it can be like a shame loop or something like that I imagine you'll know what that is for you if that's something that you're experiencing but yeah having ten of wands be clarified by seven of swords seven of swords is like further self-sabotage that we're doing that then stresses us out so this can be i mean does it need like any further explanation beside that and then you get to the point where you're like why did i do that i regret doing that and it feels like doing that again and again and again like going into this again and again So let's just say it like this, what this means for Ten of Wands being clarified by Seven of Swords, it does not mean that you can't handle the, the Ten of Wands, but what this can also mean too is that you put stuff on your plate that you shouldn't be putting on your plate. And if you took the time to check in, you would know that, but you can have an issue with boundaries that you're not enforcing, that you're not checking in about. I feel like it's important seeing Neptune on the bottom of the deck because there can be this very like, there are issues, like this actually isn't working properly, but I'm just gonna keep ignoring it and do things in this way because then I don't have to think about it and then it just keeps you within this process. And Neptune can also be avoiding things, running away from things, not addressing things, and then not feeling good about the way that we are doing things, but then not checking ourselves. And so our shadow energy just like gains more and more and more power. It's sort of like a takeover that starts to happen. And for some of you, it's not only affecting you, it can be like professionally or with your responsibilities. This can also be something that's impacting a very close relationship of yours too. So you're, this is not only impacting you separately this is also impacting you somebody that you are very very close with having four of swords feels like you may put a pause on things you may have to rest you may have to like check in somewhere or pull back in some way there can be sort of a review that you end up doing there can be a you know, some type of wellness check-in that you do with yourself. And then 10 of cups feels like just thinking about what's happening and how to, I 
I feel actually like there's there's something that's been going on where you may have been doing too much rather than not enough and that's like where the issue part of the issue lies I wonder too if like you're doing something and there it's like actually not aligned with your values and when I say that you can be doing things where actually now that this is coming to light I'm I'm seeing like a good example for the way that this energy can manifest if you get hired for something and you read the job description and then you hear the pay that you're getting and you're like, okay, I, I agree, like that's fine. And so you're doing the work, but then there's like more and more work that starts being added and you're like, I'm not getting paid enough for this. And so you start like not doing those things that you're being assigned and you're like, well, that wasn't in the job description. And so you're like justifying why you're not doing those things that are now being assigned. And it really comes back to you feeling like, I'm not being properly compensated. This is not aligned with my values. And so this is how I'm dealing with it. And I'm justifying it because I didn't sign on for this, but you're the one that's continuing to do it. Like you're not taking a step back from it. You're not quitting. You're not doing something that would stop this. You're basically like keeping the ball rolling, but then you're the one that's sort of falling into this pulling apart from yourself like the separation that starts happening because when it comes to your values you know that the energy that you're putting in you are not getting something back that feels like it's compensating for what you're doing and so then you're like in your head you're trying to make it be even so you feel like it breaks out evenly but then doing so in a way that feels very like under the table and then not feeling good about that and then feeling stressed out because this king of pentacles i feel really strongly with this energy leo king of pentacles is like if you were in a position where you felt like things like I see you want to do a good job like you want to show up there you want to do a good job like you want to be seen as like reliable responsible getting the job done this seven of swords feels like it's associated with there's stress that I'm not properly dealing with or there's too much that I'm taking on that I'm not properly addressing that I'm not properly dealing with and then when I take matters into my own hands, it actually undermines my credibility. It undermines my word. It undermines my sense of duty and responsibility and how I should be showing up. And now it's impacting me and my relationship with myself. And this is something that pulls you apart. And that means too that because of this thing that's going on where there's this this connection that's being pulled apart with you and yourself. Because you know, King of Pentacles like wants to to follow through, to do what they're saying. And if you're not doing that, there's this feeling of like, this is me, but then my behavior is not reflective of my values. It's not reflective of my morals. And then I have to like put that part of me away and like not look at it. And then what that ends up doing too is that within your close relationships, and we don't mean for it to, and we don't want it to, but it starts separating you from you and the people that you're close with like when you are all together with yourself you will feel closest like there's that intimacy but when seven of swords is happening it's that part of ourselves that we don't want to be seen but in order to allow connection you have to be seen and if you're not allowing yourself to be seen because you're doing things that you don't want to be seen it breaks things apart then I do feel like you have too much going on here with Ten of Wands. Too much going on that's not being dealt with. I This feels like it actually all comes back to stress management that is actually not being managed. And it's also like your responsibility too, like seeing the Emperor come out, it's your responsibility to be managing this. What I find strange and interesting is that you have a two of cups here and you have a 10 of cups, which shows that there's something that you have in your life that you feel very, very close with and very, very connected to. And that can even be like all of the roles that you have right now. 
but because of not managing stress properly and convincing yourself this is the the way to do it which is like not actually managing it at all it's actually you showing up in a way that is not aligned with your values not aligned with your standards it can then feel like it's keeping you away from the thing that you want to be connected with the thing that actually makes you happy because two of cups is when you are on the same page with yourself and that's when you feel happy that's when you feel connected that's when you feel joy that's when you feel like things are things are good and i like the way that my life is feeling seven of swords is what keeps you away from that so this is like an active cycle that's like keeping you away from that part of yourself that when you're close with you feel like things are all right This feels like learning that's that's happening and what needs to be seen about like the work that you're doing, about how you're showing up. And it feels even too like this can be a time where you can can potentially like curb something that curb something that you feel like you don't want to be doing anymore. Also too, if you have anything that you're doing that's putting an unruly amount of stress into the mix for you, it can be a time when you take a look at that. Essentially, this is like a karmic test that you're going through. I am seeing the devil on the bottom of the deck. What you're doing can be fear motivated. It also speaks about cycles that we sort of lose ourselves within and feel like we give our power away. It can also be about like what we give authority to within our lives as well, why we're doing what we're doing. I'm seeing Ace of Swords land over seven of swords and seven of pentacles and what this means is that you have something going on right now like you're in the midst of a process this feels like recognizing what is potentially sabotaging that and then correcting what needs to be corrected this also feels like a mental health check-in that can be happening with seven of swords and four of swords because seven of swords really does feel like the way that you've convinced yourself you need to cope with this, even though it's like really not the way to cope with this, it's not an effective way of coping with this. And it's actually something that creates more stress within your life. And Four of Swords feels like how this is gonna be mitigated and like how this is actually gonna be addressed. And what this feels like to, to me is that if you are doing something and you feel like it's just going to keep going and keep going and keep going, you may have to like sort of pluck yourself from it to take a pause and look at everything and then sort of go back in with like a corrected understanding of things, how they're affecting each other, how stuff is working. I am seeing Ace of Swords, so I do feel like there is a breakthrough here. I feel like you're very, very close to it. Um, however, I think that it's... This can be something that's really difficult like the the barrier that i'm seeing be for you is wanting to deny what's going on not wanting to be honest with yourself like not wanting to be aware of what's happening and that's the only barrier to you actually like correcting this and not i'm hearing this again like a, like a shame spiral or something like that that's the that's the way that this is going to be corrected when you're like I want to see what's going on. I'll be honest with myself, even if it's hard to look at it because I feel ashamed of this with the Seven of Swords because King of Pentacles shows that you do have a very clear idea of how you should be showing up. Seven of Swords is going to be what you're doing that actually doesn't align with that belief that you have and having to look at that and take responsibility for it. 
And it can be really difficult to do that. It can feel very stressful, but it feels like it's going to be even more stressful to not do that. And it also feels like it's just gonna do further damage. And right now is the time where this can be corrected. And so yeah, the only barrier between you realizing this and actually being able to address what's going on is just your willingness to be aware of what's happening. Because if you want to keep like keeping yourself in the dark and sort of like running away from this, it is something that um, I think you'll be able to do it for a little bit longer at least. Um, but it does feel like it's going to create further damage if that's the case. The hardest thing is going to be like ownership, accountability, honest self-reflection. But I am seeing that be sort of where you're going. I'm seeing Nine of Wands and I'm seeing Ace of Swords, which means that you're working towards a breakthrough that you're about to have and that things will become very clear. It feels too like stuff that's been clouded that maybe like weren't totally aware of before, still making sense of, still recognizing patterns and why certain things continue even when you're like, I hate this, like why does this keep continuing? It feels like there's going to be an amount of insight that is gained that wasn't um, maybe available to you before. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. Oh, um, something else that I'm seeing too is that some of you, when you need to like take a break or you need to rest or you need to do like self care and stuff, part of this is that you're not taking care of yourself. And so it's, a, it's not allowing you to properly show up. This can be like, I'm not taking care of myself at home. So then when I'm showing up to work, I'm not doing my job properly. Because Seven of Swords can be like a sliding scale of, of severity depending on what your situation is, depending on what everybody's situation is. So yeah, for some of you, this is like, you're not showing up and doing your job at, at work because of something that's starting at home. And it feels like recognizing the relationship between those two things with the Two of Cups. Because I'm seeing Seven of Swords and I'm seeing Four of Swords and what this can mean is that like when I'm, when my body's telling me I need a break, when I should be sleeping, when I should be eating, you know, when I should be going for a walk or when I should be disengaging for that or when I should be setting a boundary, like not doing those things. And then it has you sort of showing up halfway. And I do feel like there's an awareness of this too and it's one that you don't feel good about and that can be like just another reason with Seven of Swords and Neptune why you'd like not want to look at it. You know, it can be hard to look at something and address it because we know that it's not aligned but that's like the only way actually to correct it and so that's the process that you're going through currently. Yeah, there, there can be, even too, like having King of Pentacles and having Emperor, there can be some stuff that you have going on where it's like, maybe you you tie your, your self-worth to like your earnings or you tie your self-esteem to like your job or how much you're getting done. And this can be even going into like workaholic territory. It can be going into something, but then there's, there's something that feels imbalanced about about it and it feels too like you're getting signs about this but it can be something again that's difficult to look at and you can go into a deeper understanding of why you're doing this what's motivating it some of you do you have a hard time setting boundaries with people that you're close to and this can even be people at work too you know this can be an interpersonal thing that ends up bleeding into like your stuff that you're supposed to be doing and it can be you like not checking in with yourself and just pushing through and ignoring yourself and ignoring signs and then mental health being affected by that i do want to say this what this looks like to me is that 
where you are, I'm not seeing there be an issue with like, like this role that you're playing or the job, like I'm not seeing there be an issue in general. It feels like you're doing stuff that you feel really happy with. It just feels like the way that you're going about doing things and sort of how you're interacting in this space, that's what needs to be corrected. Because Emperor and Ten of Cups feels like I'm in my purpose and I feel like I'm in the right spot. It's just this thing that needs to be corrected. And it feels like your your behavior, your choices, your way of thinking as you move through this, managing your stress levels. So I'm not seeing this be like toxic workplace. You got to get out of there. It's like, no, this is just like you take being responsible taking responsibility for yourself and how you're doing things and learning how to take care of yourself and knowing that if you're not taking care of yourself, you're not going to be able to be able to show up, going to be able to show up properly. Because I'm not seeing you not be able to handle this. It just feels like the ways that you've actually been sabotaging, which can mean like, there's correction that has to be done and there can be a part of you that doesn't want to. There can be a part of you that's really resistant. There can be some unhealthy habits that you're, you've convinced yourself like this is just the way that I've got to do it. This is the way I've got to get it done and like it's going to come back and it feels like it is impacting you already. So, And I feel too like it's taking you away from where you want to be going as well and then it's like you have to trudge all the way back and then it takes you back again and then you have to trudge all, and it feels just like around and around and around all right my friends we are going to leave the reading here I would like to thank everyone for connecting thank you for tuning in I'm sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time